Hello, my learners. In this topic, I will discuss about operations of rational expressions. As you can see in the diagram, operations of rational expressions, which are multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. You have already learned how to multiply or divide rational expressions. And right now, we will discuss the remaining topic, which are addition and subtraction. Adding or subtracting rational expressions is similar with adding or subtracting fractions. So, let us recall how to add or subtract fractions. Adding fractions. The given is 1 over 7 plus 3 over 7. As you can see, the given problem has similar denominators, which is 7. So, first step, add all the numerators. Next, copy the denominator, which is 7. 1 plus 3 over 7. Next, simplify. 1 plus 3, and that is equal to 4. So, our final answer is 4 over 7. There's no need for you to simplify. Second example. 2 over 8 plus 5 over 8. As you can see, the given problem has similar denominators, which is 8. First step, add all the numerators. Second step, copy the denominator which is 8. 2 plus 5 over 8. Then simplify. 2 plus 5 and that is 7. And our final answer is 7 over 8. There's no need for you to simplify 7 over 8 because it is already in simplest form. And that will be our final answer. Let's go on to subtracting fractions. Example, 1 over 3 minus 5 over 3. The given problem have similar denominators. First step, subtract all the numerators. Second step, copy the denominator. 1 minus 5, which is our numerator, over 3, which is our similar denominators. The next is simplify. 1 minus 5, and that is negative 4 over 3. Negative 4 over 3 is already in simplest form, and that will be our final answer. Another example. 6 over 5 minus 3 over 5. The given problem have similar denominators, which is 5. First step, subtract all the numerators. Second step, copy the denominator, which is 5. 6 minus 3, which are our numerator, over 5, which is our similar denominators. Next, simplify 6 minus 3, and that is equal to 3, over 5. 3 over 5 is already in simplest form, and that will be our final answer. You have already learned how to add or subtract similar fractions. Now, let's go on to adding and subtracting rational expression with similar denominators. How to add or subtract rational expressions with like denominators? First step, add or subtract the numerators. Next, retain the common denominators. 
Number three, simplify the result. Don't forget, your final answer must be in simplest form. Adding and subtracting rational expressions with similar denominators. Example number one, 2a over 4b plus 3 over 4b. The given problem have similar denominators, which is 4b. To solve that, you must add the numerators, which are 2a and 3, and keep the denominators, which is 4b. 2a plus 3 over 4b. As you can see, there's no like terms. If that's so, there's no need for you to solve that. And that will be your final answer. And our final answer is 2a plus 3 over 4b. Example number 2. 8d minus 3 over 9 plus 4d plus 12 over 9. The given problem have similar denominators, which is 9. To solve that, you must add the numerators, which are 8d minus 3 and 4d plus 12, and keep the denominators, which is 9. 8d minus 3 plus 4d plus 12 over 9. As you can see, there is like terms and you need to combine the like terms and solve them. 8d and 4d, negative 3 and positive 12. 8d plus 4d and that is 12d, negative 3 plus 12 and that is positive 9 over 9. You need to factor out the numerator. 12 and 9 have common factors, which is 3. 3 quantity 4d plus 3, because 12 divided by 3 and that is 4. That's why 4d. 9 divided by 3, which is 3. That's why positive 3. 9 can be multiplied to 3 times 3. 3 over 3 is equal to 1. That's why numerator of 3 and denominator of 3 will be cancelled out. Then simplify. 4d plus 3 over 3 and there is no like terms. Then that will be our final answer. And our final answer is 4d plus 3 over 3. Example number 3. x squared over x plus 5 minus 25 over x plus 5. The given problem have similar denominators which is x plus 5. To solve that, we need to subtract the numerators, which are x squared and 25. Next is keep the denominators, which is x plus 5. x squared minus 25 over x plus 5. x squared minus 25 can be factored out. So we need to factor out the numerator. x squared minus 25 can be factored out into x minus 5 quantity x plus 5. And also our denominator is x plus 5. x plus 5 over x plus 5 and that is 1. So we need to cancel out x plus 5 from our numerator and x plus 5 from our denominator. And the remaining is x minus 5. And that will be our final answer. Example number 4. 
8 over x plus 7 minus 2 over x plus 7. The given problem have similar denominators, which is x plus 7. To solve that, we need to subtract the numerators and keep the denominators. 8 minus 2, which is our numerator, and x plus 7, which is our similar denominators. Simplify. 8 minus 2, and that is 6, over x plus 7. 6 over x plus 7 is ready and simply as 4. And there's no need for you to reduce that. And that will be our final answer. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to answer the given formative assessment.